Right, hello everybody and welcome to another video on Jazzy and Steve. Before we start on this short video, do us a favour, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. If you're new, it would really mean a lot. Right, I mean, what a day today has been. I'm on night shifts, so I've been in bed all day and then I've been to watch my bed's football and then uh, while I've been in football, everything's just happened. Ross Stewart, as you probably already know, Ross Stewart, some have accepted a bid for of 8 million plus 2 million add-ons, so a 10 million package deal. Um, to, from Southampton, he's on his way down there for a medical now. Uh, expect that deal to be completed either tonight or early tomorrow. Lyndon Gooch uh, is at Stoke having a medical to rejoin Alex Neil. Uh, that deal is supposed to be around one million pound. Southampton have also put a bid in of three million plus two million pounds worth of add-ons for Patrick Roberts, and according to Captain Fishpaste, um, I'm not wait, you know. People like that, uh, the, the deals, the offers went in. Sunderland haven't re rejected it yet, and Roberts is apparently keen on the move. Similar situation to Stewart. Uh, also, the rumours, obviously, Pritchard's also uh, been linked with going back to Stoke, uh, not going back to, going to Stoke. And I mean, that's four players in, in, in just a space of a few hours. Four players. Linked to it or spoken to or, 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 or actually happening, going out the door from Sunderland. And not one near mentioned about coming in. Now, I understand the model that the club's got and all that. Bring in, sell and then replace them. But where's these replacements? Where is the replacements? We brought in players uh, early in the window and we thought, champion, great, super. Uh, injuries, people not getting in. I mean, we've pretty much been playing the same team apart from Joe Bellingham and Bradley Dack the last few games. Been playing the same players that we've had last season. I mean, I hope the club have got this under control. Mowbray said that they wouldn't sell two unless they had a replacement. So that leads you to think that they must have a replacement lined up. Um, who it is, we do not know because the club's not giving out away. And we're leaving it down to the last minute, as we usually do. I've had the, put the boards back the whole time. I, I mean, I still think they've done a fantastic job since they've come in. From where we were to where we are now, it's been absolutely brilliant. They've cut down our losses. Uh, they've brought in some brilliant transfers. They've got us out of League One in the playoffs last season. So yes, they've done a fantastic job. But if they're going to release our best players or some of our best players, they've got to have be uh, replacements lined up for them ready to go. Tomorrow wants to be one hell of a busy day for Sunderland. It really does want to be a busy day because if they mess this up and they get this wrong, then everybody's going to turn them. At the minute, it's, I'd say it's about 50-50. Off, off the supporters are back on the board. Off the, off the supporters are against the board. Like I say, I, I fully support and appreciate everything they've done so far. But tomorrow is going to be a big 24 hours for, for Speakman and KLD. They've got to get people in. They've got to get people through the door. They can't leave it at the last minute. If you remember the last transfer window in January, we left it and left it and left it and didn't get a replacement in in time. And then we get to know we had, we had offers in but they weren't accepted. And tomorrow, if you've left it that late and we've let Stewart go, Gooch go, Roberts potentially go, Pritchard go, and you get no one in using the excuse of that people priced us out or we didn't have enough time. It's not good enough. You've knew people have been coming in for these players for so long. People have been heavily interested in Stewart, Roberts and all that throughout the whole summer. So if you were prepared to accept deal, uh, offers for them from certain clubs, then you've got to have um, replacements lined up for them. So it's been a busy day on the outgoing side of things for Sunderland. Nothing on the incoming side of things. I believe this morning there was rumours that so they were saying Rusin had, had, had arrived and thingy. All it was was a Ukrainian plane. Anybody could have been on that, for God's sake. But nothing's been said from the club. Nothing's come out about anyone coming in, any replacements coming in. And it does, it, it, I, I must admit, for the first time in this whole transfer window, I am worried. I am worried. Like I say, I'm still back on the board to a certain extent, but they've got 24 hours to prove themselves. If they mean, before the season started, they said that their aim was, uh, was, was promotion. Selling your best players with knee replacements is not uh, proof of that in my eyes. Uh, like I've said, I've had your back. But let these players go without replacing them. And you, you're going to lose everybody. It's as simple as that. You're going to lose the fans. Uh, you lose the club. You, need, you, need, you just need to get this sorted. Hopefully, you're just freaking winding us up and you're just teasing us and you've got players lined up, ready to come through the door. Bit like last year on the last game of the uh, uh, the last day of the transfer transfer window, I can't even get my words out. When you unleashed Bennett, Diallo, Michu, and Bar on deadline day, that was all great. 
but they were new people coming in, they weren't replacements. Then, then people that you brought in were young and to play alongside the players that we've got. Uh, also, apparently there was a 15 million bid. Burnley have come in with another last ditch, 15 million pound bid for Clark, which I haven't heard of as being rejected or accepted. Um, they, they didn't want to be accepted. And if we lose Stuart Clark and Roberts all in one day, uh, all in one window without replacing them, then uh, we're screwed. To replace a player of Clark Roberts calibre, you need to spend a long time shopping around to find the right players. I mean, we've been looking for strikers for ages, so that's, we should have strikers lined up, so that shouldn't be a shock that Stewart's going. I mean, it's a, it's a hell of a deal. He's not signing a new deal. He's, like I say, he's had two serious uh, injuries. We don't know if he's going to come out the same player. He hasn't signed a new deal. We have offered him decent money, from what I've heard. Um, but his agent's obviously wanting more. 15 grand a week, plus bonuses, is a good offer. So if he's not accepting that, then it means that he doesn't want to be here. So we don't know what's going on in the background. Uh, if Apparently Roberts is keen on the move to Southampton as well. So something must be not right. Something's not right that we're not being told about. Uh, if they do, like, I know I feel as though I'm repeating myself, but if they do not replace these players and let them all go, Mowbray will walk. Um, and then God knows who will get in. Nobody knows. But listen, not to be too defeatist, obviously. It's, today hasn't looked good. I'm sitting here now. I'm about to go and try and get off an hour's kit before I got the night shift. And then tomorrow I'm in Flamingo Land all day, so I'll be glued to my phone. Uh, hopefully, watching all these people coming up, this person's at the academy, this person's having a medical, this person's coming through the door. Something needs to be done. The board, I've had his back for so long now. Let these players go and don't replace them. Be on it on your own head. Be on your own head. That's It's, it's not good enough. Uh, please surprise us. Please surprise all of us. Get replacements through the door tomorrow. Decent ones, not ones that you're going to build up over years and then... We need players that can get jump straight into the team on Saturday, straight into the team on the week after, and, and perform and get us up this league in this season. We don't want, oh, we brought these in, he's one for the future. We didn't need players for the future, we need players for now. It's as simple as that. We've got enough players for the future to see over the next two dec decades. Get players in for the now. Make sure they're the right ones. Make sure they're going to make an impact. And didn't let us down. Please do not let us down. Just a quick one there. Just to cover what's been going on today. Uh, just my thoughts on the thing. Like I say, Stuart Goodale. Gooch, we knew it's been coming. I, me personally, I wouldn't get rid of him. Um, but it looks like that's happening. Roberts, I ho that, hopefully they don't accept the offer and they don't let him go. Because if we're getting £10 million for Stuart, who's, uh, who's injured off the, off the back of two serious injuries, we should be getting round about the same, if not more, for Roberts. Um, but look, them ones haven't been finalised yet. Nothing's been finalised officially yet. Uh, but tomorrow's a big day for Sunderland. I'll be keeping an eye on everything. Um, no doubt there'll be a few videos coming from Paul during the day because I'm from England and on the night time um, I'll probably just pop up with a few as well. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Me and Paul will be giving you uh, different updates all throughout the day tomorrow and speak when you KLD. Do not shit the bed on this. Do not shit the bed. Get the replacements in. Get the players in that we need. Make sure they're the right ones. Make sure they're ready to play and let's get the job done. I'm still keeping my faith in you for now. 24 hours you've got. Get it done. Hit the subscribe, please. And thumbs up. I've said them in the wrong order. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We really appreciate it. That's all for now. How are the lads? Get it done.